So welcome back to part two of the budget planning uh, in Dynamics AX 2012, how to set it up in the end. Uh, if you haven't watched part one, then I would actually recommend you to watch part one because we are middle in the middle of the setup of uh, the budget planning in the end. Uh, so yeah, have a look at my channel, uh, have a look at part one, and then you know how to do this kind of budget planning workflow where a finance guy creates initial budget, um, AX distributes different kind of budget plans directly to different departments um, based on an Excel template. They are can they can fill it out and um, the aggregated thing is going back to finance and they are going to approve it. So this is in the end the thing that we are going to do. Uh, yeah, so if you didn't watch it, watch part one because we are moving on in here with the allocation schedules. So we've created this, the scenario constraints. So what can be done in each of the different kind of scenarios. And now we are going to create the allocation allocation schedules. So the allocation schedules in here as well, there are quite a lot of available from, there are some available from um, from the standard ones, so since it is a shared table, but we are going to create it from scratch. Great. So the allocation schedules makes nothing else than is going to copy one budget to another budget. So in one scenario, you can copy it to um, another scenario and so on. So this is the thing with the allocation. So for example, um, for example, you, yeah, for example, the whole thing like this, so the whole distribution. So um, AX is, for example, taking in here the total budget and it needs to distribute it and copy it into the new scenario. So for example, we have here the different stages. So the finance guy clicks on submit and AX is going to split the whole thing and copy, for example, just the just the different kind of lines which um, are for the purchasing department into a new scenario, which is called the TJTCC for the cost center to approve, for, for example. So all those kind of things uh, will be will be done in here. Great. <laughs> I hope you understood what I what I mean, but um, maybe it gets clear right now. So I just say in here, um, distribution, distri distribution of distribution of, and now I just need to quickly check. Of course, I can't the scenarios. So of the TJTA, in the end. So this is the one which will be distributed. So I just say here allocation schedule. So uh, distribution of TJTA. So a total year on this year to approve. So we're just going to distribute those amount and we say we are going to distribute it. So the distribution, the aggregation, and also the as also allocations across periods and dimensions are actually in here done. So therefore we are going just to distribute it. So we just say <clears throat> the TJTA stage, so which is actually just the the budget which the finance guy created and said, well, well, this is fine, needs to be distributed um, in the end from one scenario. So in the end, the scenario this year to approve to the destination um, scenario, which is the next stage. So that this year requested from cost center. Good. So this is it. What is it doing? So for example, uh, you just need to you just need to think about. So we have here the stage. Let's say initial, initial, blah, initial um, proposed from finance. So just those kind of stages. Then two or requested from department. Or how did I call the other one, the last one? This year to approve. This year, this year to approve, which is a uh, proposed from finance. Okay. And requested from department. Good. Okay. So, 
So basically this is then the next step. So this means nothing else than let's say there was um, from an amount perspective, you had an initial budget from one from 100 and um, well, the finance guy is saying, well, okay, within one plan, he's going to say, well, okay, first thing is I'm going to give the purchase uh, 500 Swiss francs, whoops. I'm going to I going I'm give IT I'm going to give 700 Swiss francs and I'm going to give admin 8000 Swiss francs for example. So within one budget plan finance is going to say or within the total budget plan finance is going to say well okay um I give this department 500 this department 700 and this department 800. The distribution is doing nothing else than just the distribution of those amounts. So uh, in the end, AX is going to create budget plan one. So budget plan purchase. So with the new, with the new uh, stage request for, from department 500 and then budget or child budget plan, budget plan IT. Again, with the same stage 700 and budget plan admin requested from department 8000. So this is just the distribution which is done automatically if you do it this way. So one, the total budget plan will be distributed into three child budget plans and is going to split it based on the cost center. So in the end, quite simple, I hope. Good. Okay. So next, if we have a look or if we just think about the different stages. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's, let's add, let's add the aggregation at first. Let's add the, yeah, let's, let's add, let's add the aggregation. So, um, of course, in the end, so after they approved it, we want to have it in the end at the um, at the finance review stage um, again back together. So this means nothing else than um, you need to think. Well, in here, um, in here, they are maybe saying, well, no, I want to have nine hundred and. Um, admin wants to have fifty thousand, for example, and we want to have it in the stage finance to review we want to have it aggregated back together means nothing else so just the total of uh, 50,000 one, 50, 51,600 should be back aggregated together so this means nothing else then we need to say in here aggregation of t our TJRCC. We are going to aggregate it. The source scenario. So we are going to aggregate it from the requested from cost center to this year amount to approve, for example. And then it is going to be aggregated back together. Okay. Um, now you have also the possibility to say, well, okay, you want to make a distribution across periods, for example. So um, as, as an example, until this stage here, so this one is just one amount for the whole year, 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 still one amount for the whole year, because um, until this stage, uh, they don't they don't think about, well, okay, I want to analyze anything. I just want to have a look at the yearly budget. You have the possibility then to copy um, one, uh, one scenario to the next scenario in the end, um, but distribute it. So distribute the amounts. So for example, in this case here, we have in total 51,000, 51,600. Of course, it will be split then by cost center, but you can then say, well, okay, 
because I'm going to analyze it later on in a final in uh, with with the management reporter or with any kind of thing I want to have it um, by month. So just in the end, I want to split this divided by 12, uh, and then on each month 4,300. Of course, still split it by financial dimension, so still um, still split it by purchase. So in the end, it would have for purchase, um, 900 divided by 12 and so on. But I think you get the point, what I wanted to say. So therefore I just say, well, copy, copy uh, to uh, proved or to final, to final, yep, budget. So means nothing else than I can say here, allocate across period. Now I need to have a period key. A period key means nothing else than here right click view details and in here you can go over the wizard for example the wizard is quite simple so i click on the wizard i click on next uh i say here per one month um of totally 12 months i guess um fixed from opening fiscal period of the year makes sense good and then in here, specify apply to um, allocation lines. The financial for specific lines can be edited before blah, 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 blah. No, I just want to do it for the thing. And the period key should be called monthly. So, so over 12 months equally. So we don't have any kind of seasonalities or things like this. So therefore AX generates here just for each of the month, 8.33 percentage. You can override it. So if you would have any kind of seasonalities or whatever you want, then you can do it the way. And there are quite other, quite a lot of possibilities. Good. Um, yeah, you don't see the thing here. I just quickly close it and reopen it. And then you see here there should be kind of bars. You know, so each month we have 8.33 percent. So I add here the period key monthly and I say again the source scenario. So I want to, no, not here. I want to copy the scenario finance review to finance approve. But at this point, I want then in the end to have it, um, to have it um, allocated across the 12 months. So I just say TJTACC, this one, and I want to copy it to TJ final and with the period key monthly yeah <laughs> great okay yeah it is an unbelievable big um yeah it's quite it's <laughs> you still you need to think quite a lot with setting up the, the budget the budgeting module um so yeah okay good so um the next is then the stage allocation which we'll have a look after a quick break good okay so the stage allocation. Good. Um, we've created the allocation schedules. So we said, well, what should happen? And now we need to say, well, when should it happen in the end? So, yeah, as we saw here at, no, not here, in the other one, at the stage of initial. So between initial and distributed, he should distribute it in the end so between this and this he should actually do the allocation schedule distribute so means nothing else then i can say now well okay at the initial state so total budget initial i want to run the distribution so distribution of tjta in the end great so what next well whoops we said we want to aggregate it. So we just say, well, okay, um, at the stage of at the stage of aggregate, at this stage, <coughs> he should do the aggregation of the TJRCC. So in here, just between aggregate and finance review he should do the aggregation and put all these kind of things together what else well at the stage between finance review and approved 
so uh, finance review and approved he should do the no the copy yeah copy of final budget let's call it a uh, uh, allocate across allocate yeah, yeah allocate good perfect so now ax knows at what point he needs to do which allocation schedules perfect and now we are coming to a chapter which is quite simple priorities we can uh, count remove it uh well you can add different priorities but you actually normally just have one priority which is high really very really very high uh, so so yeah yeah <laughs> You don't need to add one in the end if you don't want to. Okay, now the next big steps. Um, not yet the folder, but then the templates. But let's go to the folders. So uh, you need to add the folders where the Excel files will be um, put at the time when the budget plan is created. So now it is important. So you can click here on add and then here on this folder important is never use any kind of um, C or whatever um, so don't don't use something like C temp or whatever uh, this won't work at all because it is um, it is executed on the AOS on the application object server which means you need to have a drive where the application object server have access to so uh, in this case here I'm just saying well it should be in here i maybe i can create yeah good so i just quickly go in here and i say yeah good so okay <clears throat> this one is a network drive where the aos have access and i just quickly say here i not okay in here i'm going to create new and i say my folder my filter my folder and I go into this folder and I say, well, okay, I'm going to take this one here. If you don't have a clue um, what kind of folders or what kind of folders your AOS have access to, well, um, or if you don't even have a clue about what's the name of your AOS, you will see the, your name of the AOS normally in the system administration and then under system server configuration and then you would have here in the end the AOS um, server name normally it depends how you set it up um, otherwise ask someone from uh, which have a clue so some uh, technical guy but yeah in the end you just need to know uh, some with something some network drive where the AOS have access okay and now the next big step is I just quick, oh, I can't remove them. I just quickly remove those at first. I think I'm able to. And now I'm also removed those ones just that we really just have. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, the templates. So, um, the templates are, is nothing else than the Excel templates. Uh, now you can actually create several ones because of course each person should see kind of different things during he is doing his budget. So for example, at the stage, let's say of, um, of the initial one, you should have the whole split between uh, the different main accounts and the different cost centers and each line, for example. And maybe in the end at the finance review, the, he don't want to have any uh, every um, line. He just wants to have the sum by cost center or whatever in the end. So this means nothing else. And you can create different kind of templates for the Excel. Now, um, first of all, before you start in here, uh, you should actually create the measures. So measures is nothing else than, um, yeah, than the sums of kind of different things <laughs> in the end. So for example, scenario one actual budget, you just want to have the sum there. So before you start in here, if you go over the wizard, I'm actually going to do it afterwards in the manual way. Uh, because the wizard is too simple and I don't like it simple. No, it's actually because, uh, yeah, you can use 
the wizard, but uh, it doesn't work all the time and not the, always the way how you want to have it. But okay, in the end, let's go to budgeting and let's add the metrics field for worksheet templates at first. And maybe you will get this message that budget service inbound port is not activated, which means nothing else than if you would receive this message, then you can close it and check it at first. So you can go to service administration and then to AIF service and application integration framework inbound port and check if there is any kind of service which is called budget services. And as you can see here, so if it would have a red X, then you just need to click on activate. If you don't have it here, then you need to go into the AOT. So control and D. If nothing happens, you don't have access to it. So ask the, the administrator to do it. Um, yeah. In, the, in here, you need to go to the service groups and search for the budget services. And then in here, he has actually three services which needs to be, which needs to be deployed. So just right click deploy service group and then wait until AX deployed the services. Good. And then AX deployed it. Maybe you have some uh, warnings. It uh, doesn't matter at all. You, know, you will have warnings. Um, yeah, yeah, needs to have in, no, it doesn't matter. That's great because you can then close the AOT and check again in here the inbound ports. And now the budget services should be available and it should have a green tick. Great. And yeah, let's quickly try it again. So let's go here to metrics fields for worksheet template. Let's see what's happening now. Now it's processing. <clears throat> And still processing. I guess you know this bottle. <laughs> it sometimes, sometimes it appears and don't want to go away. But let's wait. Uh, just quickly click on pause. Good. And after a while, um, you end up in here. Good. Now, what does it mean? So, um, what are we going to do in here? I'm going to show you afterwards the manual way as well, because I'm going to create template the manual way and not over the wizard. So, um, yeah, so we are actually going to say, well, uh, yeah, we are creating those sums, nothing else. So we say, well, okay, budget plan scenario LJA, the total sum should be shown in one column and so on based on, based on the template that we create in the Excel template. So this is the only thing that we do. So I can click here on new and I can say, well, um, LJA, so last year's actual. I can click on parameters. I can say yeah, it is an amount. Read only makes sense. And <laughs> there are already filter conditions in it. What the hell? Okay, and I click here on add. And normally, yeah, we need to say budget plan lines and we just take the scenario because we just want to have this, this, the scenario in the end. Also basically just uh, filtered by the scenario. Budget plan detail lines scenario. Scenario description, not budget plan scenario. Yeah, don't take the description, take the budget plan scenario. Yeah. And then contains, no, not contains, is, and then I should be able to click in here and then I can say, okay, LJA. Good. I can click on new. And I can say, well, okay, I also want to have last year's budget, last year's budget. I'm going to delete those things and I say again. And in the end, you just need to do it for all the different uh, scenarios. But so LJB, okay, yeah, also read only, and I add the last one as well. Uh, this is la uh, this year proposed, pro yeah, I take now, okay. This year proposed by finance, this makes more sense. I go take it out, I add a condition, I say here again, 
budget plan scenario is this time the this year to approve but this year proposed by finance for the others for the others you would need to do it as well exactly the same thing of course but because i'm not going to do it yeah okay i'm quickly show the wizard as well so therefore i just quickly do it for all the different kind of scenarios but i make i break here the video as a pause here the video because uh, it's always the same good so i just created the different kind of uh, scenario so always just uh, buy the scenario and then just yeah sometimes read only sometimes not read only um maybe actually it can also be that it makes sense to add the year then this can be because if you would yeah definitely because if you would have let's say last year's budget as well in it then it would add the last years as well so uh, it would make sense i would say to say to add here as well the date um i think there should be somewhere a date maybe just on the budget plan there was i think budget plan okay budget plan line effective date okay yeah effective date then okay so this means add condition so if you want to have effective date no, effective date is uh, is or on after so means nothing else than a relative and then first oh, I don't have a year um okay relate relative to today plus null day doesn't make doesn't make sense i add an absolute value so this means is um on or after 1st of january 2016 zero 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 ah yeah it's am pm i'm not used to am pm um first and i'm also not used to this date format so first of 2016 12 0 0 1 and now how can i say pay pm i want to have am ah <laughs> uh, yeah i guess you know what i mean so this means i can say end budget plan lines effective date is or on before value absolute and then in here the 31st of 31st of december and 11 yeah good now i have am here but yeah but anyhow good okay so this means nothing else than if you would have several budget plans then he would just brings you one year and not um, the sum of both years in the end good okay so this was the first step that you do it this way um let's quickly i just quickly try to do it over the wizard one so i click here on wizard let's see what's happening you can click on next and then you will get actually this message at the moment prerequisition checklist budget plan office add-in service document data source is not activated you must blah 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 the system administrator to resolve this issue so fortunately i am the system administrator administrator so therefore i know what to do um so you can go to um organization administration and as soon as the service so the budget service is activated you need to go here to document management and then document data sources and in here uh yeah as you can see here there is no budget service available so you just need to click on new uh, module budget budget uh data source type service and now uh, because as soon as the service is activated you should actually find here somewhere some services which are called budget and it should be this one but nevertheless just add all the three office add in 
create a new one, budget again, service, search for the second budget service. So the plan service activated but budget plan service and budget and service and add here as well the last one the transaction service budget transaction service and activate it as well and close it good and now back to the wizard so template wizard next now you don't get this ever so you can say template name my first trial over wizard uh, as i said so i actually got the the problem uh, in another system that as soon as soon as i tried to click here on the metrics field for worksheet template uh, nothing happened even if the service worked in this um, standard system it is working in my system it didn't work therefore i just made the manual way so if this one here doesn't work um don't worry about it because uh yeah we are going to do it the manual way afterwards anyways good i choose the folder that we've created so the one with my folder choose the legal entity which is quite clear and choose the account structure so in my case the glsi cost center click on next and now you can say, well, okay, what do you want to see as a header? I say, for example, document number, responsibility center, maybe the budget plan, who created it, doesn't matter. You can add here these kind of fields that you want. You can click on next. And I also had the problem actually that um, when I went in here that uh, nothing, nothing was shown in here. So it was somehow quite messed up the service, but yeah. Good. So um, what you want to see in here, um, important is you actually need to add here, oh, I'm just doing it man, um, automatically, so that's fine. So let's add here the main account, the main account description, the cost center, the cost center description, maybe the cost center in the beginning. Whoops, yep. Uh, budget, budget plan, scenario, no, the currency is well not, the amount is no bad the amount maybe it's automated but anyhow okay so just the dimensions that you want to see um yeah then next and now we have here the metrics fields which are available so we can say well okay we just want to see quickly all on next again and yep and then you can say preview in excel and now I'm also um, interested if it is working or not. Let's see. Uh, it is some. It is doing something at least. And if it is not working, then I don't mind because then I'm going anyway. I'm going anyways for the manual way right afterwards because it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is quite, you just need to understand what is going to happen actually in the end and what you need to do and that you do actually everything absolutely correct because otherwise it won't work. <laughs> yeah, that's the always the problem with such kind of um, Excel add-ins. As soon as you do everything uh, correct, it is working and as soon as there is some small things which are wrong, nothing is working at all. Yeah, so it is still, the again, the bubble is coming, so I just quickly pause here the video again great and it actually it actually looks fine so this is the output uh, looks great uh, even if you even if it's even if it's kind of like um, yeah kind of strange that you have here um, name and it will stay name any um, yeah it will stay this way actually uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all um, this way is actually, yeah, it looks great. So it is, it looks that it is fine. Um, you can try to refresh the data, but there won't be anything in it. Or maybe it is because I'm connected to USMF and not to, yes, I am, not to GLSI. 
So if you click on refresh, then there will be data available, but document number and responsibility center and budget plan would still have here the hashtag name because it is actually just showing it at the time when it is created. But this should be actually the way. So let's quickly try it. And he's still reading the budget plan data. So, yep. So, and after a while, as you can see here, uh, AX filled it here after I clicked on refresh. And as I said, the document number, so those kind of things up here uh, will still remain with the hashtag because it is really just uh, during the process when it is uh, shown correctly. Um, yeah, it is not not responding at the moment, but of course the amounts are blank in here. It is it took it it took everything from USMF, so from the other mandate because I'm connected to it. Um, yeah, so I would just need to click here on the option, and is it that big that he has that many problems, or what is happening? Yeah, so we really took the unfiltered, the un totally unfiltered uh, data. and is totally stuck now but anyhow i can say then well okay uh yeah would this work uh, okay so now i'm connected to usmf so you can click here on the dynamics ax add-in if you don't have it then you have a problem ask for it <laughs> you know um good so yeah it's fine just quickly click on connect Default account structure GLSI and OK. And if I click on refresh, then it should be blank in the end because I don't have any budget data in this mandate. And not even this main account. OK, now it is loading again and hopefully find nothing. OK, it's still loading so it seems okay now it's i guess it seems that it is uh, anyways just um shared so that you really see um all the things from all the companies in here but of course as soon as you've cre as soon as you create um one specific it is anyways filtered so it doesn't matter and we move on with here clicking on finish if possible yeah by clicking on finish And then the bubble again. <laughs> and not responding. <laughs> Good. And after that, AX opened the Excel. And yeah, after I clicked on finished, and after a while, he generated the Excel. And of course, he saved it in here. Great, so this would be the way, uh, yes, save it. This would be the way how to do it um, over the wizard in the end, such an Excel template. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it actually uh, manually on the Excel worksheet, just if you would have problems like I had, and it's actually, uh, yeah, in the end it is, you know, it is not that, not that, um, easy to create it in the end but then you maybe understand what is actually happening or how it is working yep i still have it so good so this one is the one from the wizard you can actually add several templates so for example um so what is a template in the end the template is just the thing with which or the excel sheet with which the different kind of persons are working so for example if we look here the initial budget for example which the finance department uh, uh, is going to create should maybe have the columns something like well main account uh, main account name cost center cost center uh, cost cent 
character name and then in the end well for the first thing that we said based on last year's actual year for example it should show uh, this uh, last year's actual this year's uh, last year's budget and then amount which he can fill out in the end so this should be maybe the one or the template which um, the finance guy needs to have or should have uh, in the beginning like this the next for example so um, the department itself the department actually should just have for example well cost center doesn't matter at all because he knows his own cost center so this one here would be maybe the template for first or for initial budget finance then the second the second one so temp template for departments they don't need the cost center because they know the cost center so they just need to have the main account main account name and then last year's actual last year's budget not but the amount from finance and then amount department let's say here amount finance so just the one from here which is just to have a look at but this one which should be editable and on the last place when it is aggregated or when you no know, then the finance guy is having a look at it again then yeah let's say we just create two templates then again this template so it just creates two templates just to make it a little bit a little bit easier good so this means we are going to create these templates um, manually so to do that you need to open an excel file uh, depending on how you connect to the excel if so if you have citrix then you need to go not to your local um, excel but on the citrix excel if you're using remote desktop don't use your local access uh, excel use the one on the remote desktop connection uh, so yeah just that you are connected to uh, the to ax and you have here the ax uh, icon Add in. <laughs> Good. So first that you need to do is to uh, make connection to the server. Um, so under here, just click here on new options and then you end up in here. Now it's always a problem with the server. So it is the name of the AOS. As so you need to know the AOS server and the port. How to get it? How to get it normally? Normally you get it in AX system administration. So important normally a test system does have a different aos than the productive system so don't mess up with that otherwise you would do things in productive system which you don't want to do because we are going to publish data as well over the excel add-in so really important yeah that you're on the correct server so normally the naming normally is like this at least we are doing it this way i hope you as well so you see here okay it is this server uh, so this one is the AOS server, so you can just copy it. And then in the Excel, you can say, well, this one here. Yeah, makes sense. How to get the port? Well, I actually normally sort of ask someone from, from which, ask, ask a developer or anyone else who knows it. But um, I actually always going to have a look at the inbound ports and then somewhere somewhere or there if there won't be any services then you know it's more more difficult but normally you have here kind of a url where you see the aos so the same as before so if if it would be wrong in here then you would see it in here as well and then um, a double point and then the port so 8101 so it means nothing else than in here 8101 and then the login company which is gls gls glsi yep and the partition normally doesn't matter uh, you can try initial or you can leave it blank and then click on connect and then up here something like this should appear choose the correct company choose the correct or the default account structure which is in my case the cc it doesn't that matter if it is a different one and then click on okay awesome next that we need to do is we need to click here on add data this also takes a while and we should now see 
in here the budget things that we've created before. So before I showed you how to add those three things, so it's nothing else than the one from the um, organization administration, and we've been in here, document data source, so just those three. And which one you need to take? Well, the office add-in, so click on OK. And now AX is going, no, Excel is going to connect to the AX database. <clears throat> awesome. Good. <laughs> Now it is kind of kind of strange a little bit. So you say here, for example, uh, I say regarding the sheets. So you can say here, for example, view for user, and then editable, for example. So in here, you're just going to create the things where the user or the department can say, well, I want to change this amount to seven thousand instead of six thousand, and so on. Yeah, this is one sheet. You also need to have kind of effects table, which is in the end hidden. So in the end, nothing else than just um, all the data which is in here available. I'm just going to show it to you right afterwards. And maybe another sheet, which is an analysis sheet, an analysis. In here, you can create charts or whatever. In the end, it is an Excel sheet and you have every kind of Excel functionality available. But okay, let's start with the facts uh, table, which is in the end hidden. Uh, what you need to do in here is um, click somewhere, double click on the budget plan, but on this one, just click, double click on every one which, which have a red star or such primary key. So just this one, this one, it doesn't matter at all, even if it is twice available, just double click on all the ones where you have such red stars and check that everything is available. And also this one, of course, as I said, it doesn't matter if it is twice available, open the budget plan lines uh, in here as well, add everything which have such, such um, a thing plus or in, or in addition to that, add all the financial dimension that you're going to use, in our case, main account, also the description, and the cost center, and the cost center description. And just to, yeah, I would add the amount as well, because then you would be able to check it right off um, afterwards any, um, as well. So this is it with this table in the end. So yeah, just, Double click on all the, the, the things, quite simple. And of course, in the end, you can say, well, hide. Yeah, because the user don't want to see it, but I'm just quickly going to unhide it as well, and again. Okay, the view for the user. So um, if you want to have any kind of data from the budget plans available, so for example, the document number, which will be quite important, or let's, let's quickly say, um, uh, logo, any kind of logo first. Yeah, yeah this, this looks nice. So this is my new logo. So, and I'm just going to insert, let's say picture, and then this one in here, I want to have here my company logo somewhere up here. I want don't want to have the grid lines because in the end this is the one this is the this is how the user will see it then i can say well um what am i doing well i'm doing the budget from my my company company 2016 i say well fat blah 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 bigger 2016 italics and also a little bit bigger and yeah, yeah. Good, okay. So let's add some information. First of all, we want to have some kind of information from the budget plan header. And in this case, it is uh, quite a little bit strange. Um, yeah, what you need to do is you can add here on the left hand or in here, you can say, well, okay, I add here just the name. So I say um, document number. It's just a number, but it is quite important. So now you actually want to have the field document number 
um, in here. You can drag and drop it, but uh, in the end, you would end up having something like something like this, and uh, which is in this case not the way how we want to have it. Um, yeah, you need to do it this way. You just need to put up here and then you see um, that AX is written something and you just need to put um, everything after the AX bot plan office Excel add-in. So in this case, budget plan header dot document number or the first thing, well, yeah, the first thing that appears here, budget plan header dot document number. So you just need to add equal to budget plan header dot document number. Even if it looks strange but it is the case budget plan header document number it needs to be exactly the same and it is exactly the same good you can make it bold um i can say well okay i want to have also the person who prepared it or let's say no not the parent budget plan but the pot the budget plan itself so i say budget plan okay i say budget plan budget plan i make it same format and in budget plan I see here budget plan header dot name so again equals to budget plan header dot name and I want to have the preparer name so I say preparer I say good and I say here the preparer is budget plan prepare budget plan header dot budget plan preparer dot person dot budget plan header dot budget plan preparer dot person dot dear party table dot name <laughs> uh, okay budget oh, okay equals to budget plan header dot budget plan preparer dot uh I equals to budget plan header dot budget plan preparer and then budget plan preparer dot person dot person dot person dot dear party table dot name dot dear party table dot name great um yeah so just header information do it somehow like this now next would be that we are going to create the metrics measures so the one that we've created before actually um, um on the thing here in the budget module 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 so these kind of things in here oh, it takes long now um, we are going to create also the manual way it's quite simple uh, you just need to right click here on the budget plan lines so budget plan line details right click create matrix field you can then say well okay uh, I want to have the the last year actual read only and then you can add here as well the same thing as before. So just the uh, budget plan scenario is not contained, but is. And then you have also connection to AX. So this means you have exactly the same thing as before. And then you have here the LJA. And now just do it for all your measures. So last year's budget. Also just read only. Budget plan lines, budget plan scenario is enter value and LJB. Important is in the end that those measures that you're going to metrics this is that your um, total to or this year finance prop prop post uh, measure amount. Um, important is the read only edit just for those which are never ever um, editable. Um, so, for example, like the final, the actual budget, last year's budget and the last year's actual, but on every one which can be some when um, editable, you just need to leave it as 
not read only. Okay, this year to approve, so this year finance proposal, okay, and okay. Um, the next one, create metrics field. Um, this year proposed by department, add conditions, always exactly the same scenario is enter value this year request from cost center yeah yeah and then right click create matrix uh, this year um finance fine fin finance to approve uh, make please make better conditions than I than I'm than I'm doing, but yeah. <laughs> so is enter values and then this year amount to approve and okay. And the last one um this year approved. This one of course again just read only because um the approved one should never ever be um adjusted of course. So this year final great now okay we said okay what do we want to see the first one that we are going to create is um i don't have it in this one i think it was in here somewhere no not this one it's getting late it's getting late it's getting late here okay so for the initial budget um as I said, I just create one template for finance and finance just have all the different columns. Uh, so therefore main account, main account name, cost center, cost center name, last year, actual last year budget, uh, amount financed and uh, requested from those, then the, the approved and the final. Yeah, so just in, I just add all the different kind of columns. So means nothing else than I'm saying at first, I want to have the main account name. Good. Just add at first all of those. So main account name, main account description. I want to have the cost center. I want to have the cost center description. And I want to have the last year's actual last year's budget. Um, then this year finance proposal, this year uh, finance to approve. No, wrong. Oops. Uah. Delete column. Uh, this year proposed by department. Uh, this year finance to approve and this year approved. Good. Now, oops. Now you have in here different kind of things. So, for example, the document number. You can all the things that AX automatically added. You can actually delete. Just valid needs to be in always. Don't take it out because it won't work anymore. Good. So you can say now um, you can just rename the thing. So you can say main account. Um, name, account name, however you want, you can say cost center, cost center name, um, last year's actual, last year's budget. You can also say things like, well, okay, uh, this year proposal finance this year proposal um, departments uh, this year to approve and this year final you can also make different kind of colors of the different kind of columns whatever you like actually um yeah i need to stop here for today actually because uh yeah my last boss is going is going and therefore i should go on that um therefore uh we i will move on 
tomorrow uh, with finalizing the templates and also the whole processes and in the end everything um, for the moment important is the last thing that I'm showing today is if you save it then you need to sorry first of all you need to go to the dynamics ax take out here the field then it ends ends up like this click on refresh to test it if it is working uh, if there is no error message it's fine if there is an error message then it's not fine <laughs> yep and then save as browse and again also here don't save it somewhere on your C, save it on any kind of network drive where your uh, where your AOS, the application object server has access to. So for example, uh, AX, the one that I had before, AX, uh, so, so on the AOS in this case, so I go in here, system administration, server, conf server configuration, I say, in here this one i say go back i search for backslash backslash this one and then budget planning my folder and then um, <clears throat> finance finance template manual so manually done the, the manual done template tem <laughs> template of course template um, manually created and just save it good and I'm going to move on tomorrow promised to show you how to finalize the budget and also how the process is in the end great uh, I'm going to create the part three then because it is still one another hour so therefore yeah I hope you enjoyed it up to now and I wish you a good night <laughs>